Okay, so we're back at the Vortex. Won't be showing you the biking today, but uh, we're gonna get into uh, the hike. Uh, taking a little extra precaution today. I got the bear spray along. That's uh, right there. Boy, if you're gonna order that stuff, it's gonna be on a waiting list. So it usually takes about a month and a half, two months. Uh, got a little gear in case it gets cold. We're gonna be getting back around dark. Um, of course, I am gonna bring water this time. I, don't think I need it, but uh, and then of course a little bit of protection. Of course, I got to carry it in that backpack. And uh, this is the uh, this, <laughs> this is the rain jacket that I was telling you about that uh, my wife uh, decided she was going to pack in a box, and and I found it. So that was good for getting here because I couldn't wear the leather jacket because this is getting to be a problem. I can't, you know, this is the uh, the Honda ADV. I want to put the um, the storage right here on it and every time I call them they say they don't know and they don't know and of course I'm going to be bringing the walking stick today because we are going to do a long hike uh, not too terribly outfitted just uh, regular regular tennis shoes no big deal and uh, anyway let's get started all right so things are going to get exciting now today and much more exciting tomorrow because uh, I'm waiting you know I got to time it with the weather you know so uh we're hitting the trail. This is where we made the turn on the last video, going down that way. And uh, where we came from this direction right back here. And uh, so now we're hitting on the trail that uh, has never been done by me before. Um, and we're getting further and further and further from uh, from people. So the bear spray might uh, might be important, although I, I doubt it. I, there's bike trails in here too, you know, so I don't think we're gonna have anything to worry about, but just a precaution. And uh, but it's kind of what it looks like. And uh, we're getting ready to trek a portion of the trail that I've never seen before. So this ought to be pretty cool. That's, that's when you really, you know, I'm sorry people don't get to enjoy this, you know, because that's when life really, as far as hiking goes, to me, is when it gets exciting is when I go places I've never been. And uh, I just uh, I just look forward to it. Um, but a perfect day. Got to strip out of the, all the the cold weather gear. I'm sure I'll be putting it back on here in a couple hours. And uh, we'll just uh, any, if I see anything out of the ordinary, we'll get some more video. Um, you know, was, there, if I do go through another pine section, they're really pretty when all the pine needles are on the ground. Of course, this doesn't have that. And uh, and I also uh, well I'll talk about it later. I've, I've got some plans for the future for the Florida Trail. Uh, uh, that I think is going to make it uh, a lot easier for people to uh, to get a feel for the trail and uh, don't have to watch, you know, a gazillion hours of me uh, hiking here. See, this is pretty cool looking. I wanted to talk about tomorrow just a little bit. Uh, and that is that, uh, well, we're coming up on the road. So let's, uh... oh, here's something that you got to see. If you look over there, well, I don't know if you can see it. But anyway, I, they had all these little three-step things everywhere, <laughs> and I didn't know what the heck they were for. But they're for people to actually get up on their horses. So that's and that makes sense because I'm gonna tell you what I have a <laughs> I haven't ridden in a long time, but it, it's tough getting up on that horse. So let's go over here and get a picture of that map. Okay, so we can kind of get a show you a little bit, and this is what I'm gonna do for that uh, summarized video. Was uh, okay, so we've kind of we started here the other day that's the Santos trailhead um, and then that's that ball field that you hike by and there's the trail going this way that goes all the way down to Baseline Park and uh, so this is this is actually where we're parked today at the 25th Avenue and uh, it says that I am here so you can kind of see that now we're going to be coming down uh, well you can see the bike trails and everything it's really cool um, well, here's it looks like an offshoot. This is the John Franks Trailhead. I don't think we're, we're not going to get that today, but uh, someday I'd like to hike that just to see. It says it's under construction, so maybe we're getting some more trails in here. Uh, so it comes on down, and this is where I'm hoping that we're going to get to today, and that's the land bridge. We have a land bridge that goes over top of 75. It's really cool. I don't know if I can get that far or not, but it doesn't look that far, and then... Uh, and then we're really going to get way, <laughs> see, as I get further and further out, you know, it's going to get more and more crazy. And uh, so, but I just kind of wanted to show you what we're doing here. 
And uh, this is that little uh, step up right here that, that I was talking about. Isn't that cool? A lot of them are concrete. That one's made out of wood. That's for the horses. And then uh, this is a bike trail. Now you can see, you can, you know, even as an old fart like me, I'm pretty sure I can, I could bike that trail. And I, sometime I am going to come back in here and, and just do the easy bike trails. Uh, you know, no more of the red and the, 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 the massive uh, difficult trails. And most of them are labeled red. This one probably a green trail would be my guess. So anyway, let's continue on. I just wanted to show you the map and where we're going. And it uh, should be a good day, getting ready to cross another road and, uh, and hit portions of the trail I've never seen before. Cool. See, this is a very nice touch, you know. I love it when they have little places that you can come in and sit in a chair. And here's more of that green bike path. That's, yeah, it doesn't look too hard for mountain bike. And I really, man, now I'm getting the urge big time to pull out the, the mountain bike and give this a try. Probably eat dirt but uh or sand i guess here in florida and uh but anyway you know this is uh this is the horse trail here going on and just all through here i mean what a safe hike i mean no reason for the bear spray i mean you're not going to see anything in fact i've crossed over the paved bike path back and forth so it's they're all the paths are kind of wandering together here you're not going to see anything and what a beautiful hike oh my gosh i'm telling you that this is uh, what a treasure we have right here on this Florida trail, on this section. Very well maintained, very easy hike. I just wanted to kind of come up here to this road and just show you this. Uh, so that got to figure out where the trail's going. It looks like, there it is, it's going over there. Now I would like to find out what road this is, because see what, I, what I'm going to do, maybe not at this point, I think I'm going to make it to Cactus Jack, and that'll be my next parking area to do the next section of the trail. But what I could do, see with that motorcycle, because I can go off road, is I could just bring it right up in here, and just ride it down that path, and just park it off in the in the woods back here, you know. So, and that's what I'm probably going to have to do once I get to more remote sections of the Florida Trail, because you know, you see, that's that's you know, that's why you can't bring a car. So you'd have to park a car right here, and that's why I really needed that off road capability with the motorcycle. Cause they're not going to bother me if I come up this trail a ways and then just kind of take it over into the woods and park it and then do another five, ten miles of the trail. You know, unfortunately, that's all I can get is about five miles because then you got to turn around and go back. So, uh, it'd be nice if I could put a vehicle on each side. All right, let's keep going. Note to self this is junction 475B, Marion 475B. There you go. So I just wanted to get a real selfie quick. And look at that, isn't that beautiful? This is just right off the road, man. And this is what we see here in Florida. And we're heading back up to the trail. I just made a note of what this road was. I don't think I'd ever come here and park. I don't think it's necessary. But you know, somebody else might and I'll put it in the video. All right, let's check that out. Isn't that cool? I like it. Especially that sun reflecting off of those leaves. All right, let's get back on the Florida trail. Man, I didn't get far. Look at that tree. Isn't that cool? It looks like something out of a horror movie, man. I, you know, the, the headless horseman's gonna come right out of that thing and attack me. And uh, as you continue on here, uh, you know, boy, I tell you, some of these trees are just magnificent here in Florida. You know, but look at that thing with the tentacles coming up. And uh, it just continues on back this way. Very unique portion of the trail here. Uh, I'm really enjoying this, I hope that you're seeing it on the video, that you're getting to enjoy it too, and maybe someday you can come down here and, hell, hike it with me, man. We'll do it together. All right, that's enough of that. All right, so there's more of the green trail, and uh, here's someone doing exactly what I was talking about. He pulled up here, and he's biking from this portion of the trail, because I bet he doesn't come across too many people. Now, once again, I haven't seen a single person on the trail, and I would like to know what this road is. I don't see a sign within walking distance to, to get it. But anyway, we're heading on back across here and uh, you can see where the bike trail goes that way and then the Florida trail goes that way. I'll keep on going. Speak and you shall receive. <laughs> you are now entering the Barnes section of the Cross Florida Greenway and you have just crossed CR 475B Although he said it was 107 something or other, the guy I just met. Um, but anyway, let's just keep on going. So I only try to show you stuff that's cool along the way. 
Uh, man, I tell you, as a young young man or a woman or a young person, just say, uh, boy, you could really have some fun. <laughs> Look at this. I mean, so that's that's a blue trail, obviously. So it's a little bit more difficult than that green one. But look at this, man. Wouldn't this be cool? You could come down here. They built this all in and ride it. Oh my gosh, that, that would be insane. Now, I'm sliding on it right here, so it's it's kind of slick. I mean, you wouldn't want to ride it when it's wet, like that sign said. I'm glad they put the sign up. Every <laughs> you know those stupid signs they put in front of bathrooms. Oh, the floor may be wet. You know, oh geez, you know what? I mean, I know they got to do that for legal reasons, but it's just so stupid. It tells you what our, our how what our legal system has become. You know, if you if you're too stupid to walk gingerly into a bathroom and still you know you, for me if you slip and fall you know or so supposedly the sign protects them now here's the here's the green trail now you can see the green kind of gets a little a little little hair raising i mean you could hit that and go over and uh just coming right up here you know because i'm looking at it for myself because like i told you i do want to try to mountain bike this but you know if as long as you take it slow you'd probably be all right through here and uh Anyway, let's uh, let's get back to hiking. Now, I I did take precautions, and I think it was completely unnecessary. They, these trails are extremely well maintained, as I told you, you know. So tomorrow, I do want to talk about tomorrow. I, I did, got on it just a little bit, but we're we're going to be going back, and that is going to be a dangerous area. I'm trying to find there's the orange marker. So, uh, so you know, because there's wild pigs and everything else back there, and I'm going to be cutting that trail going uh, north on the Florida Trail so that I can hike it. And everybody else, you know, if anybody else uh, ever watches these videos, they could hike it too once I'm done. Um, so we got a big, big day going tomorrow. I just wanted to, you know, sometimes you got to vary it up, right? You know, come out here one day and just enjoy a nice leisurely hike and, uh, you know, take the walking stick and enjoy that and uh, just hike along the trail. And, you know, it's it's a, I mean, it's good exercise. That's why I do it. But uh, tomorrow, now that's going to be that's going to be wicked. You know, not only are there bears and boars and everything else. And you see, as I get further and further out, you know, we're going we're going west. You know, obviously at this point on the trail, and that portion of the trail is going north, and that's going to head up into the uh, the national forest. And I've kind of hiked a few trails back in there. And that gets pretty big on scary, especially if you're by yourself, like I always am. You know, hell, I'd love to hike with somebody, but I don't know anybody who hikes. So, you know, and they all think I'm crazy for hiking the Florida Trail in the first place. Although, I would tell them that this portion of the trail they could hike and be feel perfectly safe. I mean, I know, that, yes, there's bears back here, but I, they're not going to bother you. And there's so many people on those bike trails. I saw two just a little while ago. Now, as far as hiking goes, not a single person. Not a single person on this Florida trail, you know, which is typical. I, I rarely see uh, anybody on this trail, and I bet we'll go the whole day. And it's going to be the whole day. I mean, we, we got here about 1230, and uh, I'm going to turn around maybe 3 or 3.30 and just get back in the dark, you know. That's, uh, that's just because I want to do the full day. We're not going to get many days like this with weather, and it dried out for a couple of days. So, you, you know, I'm timing it just perfect, and that motorcycle or the auto motorcycle that I bought is working out perfectly. That's exactly what I wanted. I mean, you know, 104 miles to the gallon, I can keep striking out further and further and further on these trails. Now the days are gonna get longer and longer and longer because I've got to leave earlier and early. And you might say, well, Kirk, why don't you get there at nine o'clock in the morning? Man, you don't want to be on, at least I don't want to be on these trails at nine o'clock in the morning. It's all wet and dewy and all the spider webs are up and you can't really see them unless, you know, well, you know, you could because the sun's coming from the east, but hiking west, see, I can see right up in here because uh, that, that sunlight hits those webs and I can just, that's why I brought the, brought the walking stick because then I can just knock them down, you know, and, uh, you know, me and spiders, that's, <laughs> somebody who hikes i talk about them all the time i know i know i know all right so that's enough for now uh we'll get get some video when i see something unique again probably taking too much video but i thought this looked cool look at that kind of a just the, with all the uh the vines and everything on the ground you know and i uh, i did want to talk about you know kind of a dilemma that i'm having right now you know our cars are getting old and uh Spending money, you know, trying to keep them uh, working is, uh, 
well this last year good lord i think we spent five thousand dollars so you know i go out and i price out a subaru forester and boy i tell you when i trade in which i hear you know i didn't realize that you don't get taxed for that trade-in so it does make that trade-in worth a lot more than trying to sell it yourself so it, I, in my mind it's worth it and uh so i could pick up that forester for 26 and and go in debt you know uh now when i say debt i can definitely cover that at any time with our investments um but uh you know i'm kind of waiting for a stock market crash so that i can pounce on a lot of what i think are going to be a lot of good deals because i got i got a whole crap load of uh companies that i want to invest in once uh, they've been cut in half you know in price and so you know what's the most effective use of that money and uh you know if we do have inflation which you know another trillion dollars in debt it just <laughs> you just can't keep printing money it's you know it's just stupid and and i can't believe that people in congress are that dumb but anyway so uh you know you're gonna have inflation so then you know it's you gotta have assets well is that subaru an asset because you know when you turn around to sell it you're gonna lose money but if the money's being inflated you know so i it's kind of a dilemma for me i mean assets of course i've always been considered real estate you know gold silver uh, uh well these days bitcoin to a certain degree i haven't i don't ho own any i just uh you know i just don't believe in it but uh, that's okay a lot of people do and they've made a lot of money on bitcoin i just think that the uh the, the powers that be are too powerful and they're going to shut that network down uh, i know that it's decentralized and they're going to operate out of, uh, you know, maybe uh, Timbuktu. But uh, what good does it do if you can't get to your Bitcoin? Because, uh, you know, if they've shut down the Internet, uh, you know, the hell, they're already censoring it. Then, you know, how are you going to be able to conduct those digital transactions? So that's kind of my argument against Bitcoin. And, of course, their argument against precious metals is, okay, suppose they do what they did in the 30s and they confiscate all the gold. Uh, you know, and that's another thing. I'm, of course, mine's an ETF, so I'm not really worried about that. I don't think they're going to go to Canada and, and steal all the gold out of the... Well, they might, you know. Canada's part of the the, the whole global globalization. But anyway, enough on that for now. If you have any ideas and you watch this video of what I should be doing with the cash while well, I got it just sitting on the side, you know, maybe that Subaru would be a good thing because then I won't have any repairs and then you get all of the the benefits of that three-year warranty and uh well actually there's three four five six-year warranties on some stuff you know and of course you get the roadside assistance so i wouldn't have to pay all state 99 dollars for for the year and so there's all kinds of benefits to getting a new vehicle anyway just thinking about things that's it for now all right so this is getting kind of cool i like it I'm trying to go nice and slow so just coming up to, you know, I love these big oak trees, kind of with his tentacles going way up. And I like how the past getting, you know, dark because of the canopy. And I mean, this is wintertime when the leaves are down, but it kind of gives you that, you know, might be a bear around the corner. Oh, no, no. You know, so you just kind of work your way right on in here. Isn't that cool? I just, I don't know. I, I, I just get a thrill out of it. Of course, that's why I do it obviously and uh we'll just kind of let's get around this turn and then i'll cut it off and yeah i'm kind of breaking back out into the sunlight but uh, really really beautiful i mean i just uh oh boy i tell you what a treasure gosh people hike the florida trail around here i mean it's very i had tips hats off to the trail crews they have been really back in here tra maintaining this portion of the trail you know, it's it's thousand miles long. <laughs> you know, you can only have so many volunteers, and I think most of the work is done by volunteers. And uh, boy, it's just a really easy hike. And, you know, when the weather's not like this, uh, we're gonna hit a section on the other side of Cactus Jack eventually, and uh, that'll uh, that section wasn't maintained the last time I went through there. You couldn't, I couldn't even hike it. I had to turn around. But that was during the hot weather, and it was not too long or during the lockdown. I'm not sure. You know me, I told you I'd just come back here and hike the trails during the lockdown and screw them. They were being stupid, so. But, uh, okay, that's a, a video's getting really long. I may have to make it into two videos. Okay. Sometimes I do take the headphones off and I just had to pause here because we are deep, deep in the woods at this point. 
So we kind of in between, you know, obviously roads and uh, I just got to do a 360 here just to give you the feel of it, you know, being back in here. You can hear the acorns falling off the trees. Of course, we've got a plane flying over here. We don't have jets here. We just have a lot of, a lot of biplanes. And uh, just kind of getting the feel of being back in the woods. Let's just, let's just hike for a bit in silence. Just enjoy it. Isn't that nice? You know, maybe I'll make one of those dog videos, you know, where I just talk quietly. And, you know, because my wife, <laughs> I don't know if it's true that she cuts the TV on for the dog whenever we're not home so that he can listen to soothing music. Uh, to me, it's a waste of electricity, but who knows? I mean, I guess if I was there by myself, I would want to be watching. Well, he doesn't watch it. I guess he's just supposed to listen to it. When I come home, he's just laying in his bed. But, uh, okay. Just wanted to get you a feel for what it's like back here. Well, this is great. Man, I tell you what, it's a long drive to get here. I can't believe I hiked the whole way. But this is the uh, the Land Bridge Trailhead. It's actually, the if you look on your phone, well, you could search on that address, 111 Southwest 16th Avenue, or just look up the Cactus Jack uh, Horse Farm, because uh, uh, they got uh, horses here. You know, once again, this is a great I have about the Florida Trail is, man, I, this is, would be a great place to hole up. I mean, they've got an area here where they can pull in with the horse trailers and, you know, they just put them back in there. But how, how, much, how difficult would it be to just cut in some of this and put in a couple of little primitive uh, camping areas? You know, um, I'm just trying to get over here. Now the way we're gonna, I'm gonna go back. I might not get any. Well, actually, I will get a couple more videos. Um, I'm gonna just take the bike trail. That's why I wore my tennis shoes today. I didn't think I'd make it this far. That's great. I would love to take you out to the land bridge, but we'll do that on our next hike, because that'll take us all the way down to the 49th Street area. You know, uh, once again, I haven't piked that portion of the Florida Trail, but I did kind of want to get you in here and just show you how easy this could be turned in to a you know, camping area. I mean, of course, you got your horse park in here, and then the cars park right over here. We'll get some, I'm gonna show you the bathrooms, and then uh, I'm just gonna head on back. I'm hoping, man, if I get some daylight, I'm, I'd like to ride that, uh, mo that auto motorcycle on some of these back roads and just enjoy, you know, the wind in my face. And uh, I tell you what, what a pleasure. What a pleasure it is riding that thing. Really enjoying it here in Florida. All right. So this is it. And uh, so here's Florida Trail just coming out and you just uh, hike down by that little horse parking area and this guy just came out. So here's the bathrooms, isn't that nice? And you got a little picnic area here where you can hole up and uh, have a nice uh, little picnic. And uh, there's your parking area over here. So the next time we're here, probably next week, it depends on the weather, <clears throat> you know, we'll pick up and the trail goes right back in here. And then we'll be heading over towards the land bridge and probably all the way down to 49th Street. So we're kind of knocking out all the easy sections now. Now tomorrow, uh, back onto the uh, uh, the uh, head north, you know, where I got to cut it in with the wild boars and the wild pigs and panthers and everything else back there. And uh, I'll be dressed completely different with my hikers and the whole deal. Uh, I'll be packing, of course, uh, some bear spray, definitely. And uh, so that'll be it. Uh, but it you might ask, well, Kirk, why are you, you know, so intent on getting that northern portion of the trail? Because it tasks me. Just like Ricardo Montalban in Wrath of Khan, it tasks me. All right, it's break time. Now, what I did, oh, I don't know, six months ago or so, I like this little area right here, but it was grown up. You see all these briars? I probably have to come back here and trim it again. And uh, this was all great. So you couldn't even use it. And here's the, here's the tunnel. This is right down from Cactus Jack. And this is the nice thing about the bike path is it goes under these main roads. There's another tunnel on uh, another road further down. By the way, it's 6.5 miles to get to uh, the Santos Trailhead. Now, I don't know how far the vortex is from the Santos. So I got about probably four miles to get back. 
So that's why I'm going to rest up. Now what I did was I came out here and what I was going to do was cut this lock off. You know, because it's ridiculous. It's all rusted out. But then I looked and, you know, I just unscrewed those three screws. <laughs> and so I laminated these uh, pictures of the trail right here so that you got, you know, this actually serves some use because what they had in there was a bunch of stupid boards, of course, and bees nests and spiders and stuff. And I'm glad to see the laminate still holding up. Um, but uh, here's uh, here's one place we're going to get to eventually. Here's the Shangri-La trailhead here. Okay, and then Ross Prairie trailhead. And now there's a nice, we're, you know, it's not all going to be the Florida Florida Trail. There's a there's a uh, there's a Pruitt trailhead here, and boy, that is one beautiful trail. And I'll get some some video of that. That'll be when I, we've gotten all the way out that far on the Florida Trail. But look at this, man! I got all the way to Cactus Jack today. So we'll go past 49th Street and then, you know, and then we, we uh, go all the way down to the end of the bike path and, uh, and then we'll be coming across and basically get into this area. So, you know, here's where it all starts, you know, back at the, the uh, there's the Santos Trailhead. And, all right, well, that's enough of that. And here's, here's where we're talking about with the 49th Street Trailhead right here. So the next hike will take us to there. Uh, another nice place uh, to, to park your car. Hard to find, though. Uh, and uh, enough of that. So I'm going to sit and rest on the bench that I cut out. Thank you very much, Kirk. So I thought I'd get this on the way back. I don't think I got this uh, kind of a green section, you know, for winter here in Florida. And remember all those pine needles and everything. And uh, so it's, uh, and it looks kind of like it's, you know, overgrown. Well, it is to a certain extent. But I uh, just thought this was kind of cool to get this on the way. And you could see with that evening sun coming in behind me you know luckily you know the sun sets in the west so i know that i'm heading east so because I, I was questioning whether i should go right or left back there but obviously left was the right decision how do you like that all right Ooh. well let's get get underneath here and check out that, that last tree oh yeah You're coming up on it oh good thing i'm short cool